Welcome back to the channel, folks. If you're tuning in from America, I hope you enjoyed some colorful sky explosions and all that good stuff. And uh, happy birthday to the country. Uh, today on the bench, well, it's a desk, but I'm going to call it a bench, is the Digitech RP1, a blast from the past, a long ago past. Um, so anyway, before we get started with the sounds in here, which by the way, um, sort of scratch an itch that I didn't know needed scratching, but it's there. It's the teenage me. So let me describe the signal flow. I'm going into the RP1. Uh, it's acting as a pedal board going left and right into a left and right input on the Helix. And I've got um, a deluxe reverb on one side and a Vox on the other side. And the idea there with that choice is to kind of simulate uh, backline amplifiers and generally like the kind of stuff people were using at that time to plug something like this into to like, you know, to basically turn a little combo amp into a gain monster at a bar gig or whatever. So you can go play a uh, sweet child of mine uh, to your heart's content. Without any further ado, uh, hit the bypass and we're going to look at preset number one, which is called Silk Stockings. Oh, that was a steamy show on USA Network back in the day. I wasn't allowed to watch it. Okay, so wow, very, very smooth, high gain, lots of compression. The noise gate is intense. Wow, you really gotta like hit the string to get it open. Very smooth. All right, let's check out the next preset, which is called Rippin' Solo. Oh, jeez. Also very smooth, ooh. Okay, so I should mention some of the features here. You've got your patches, um, and then you can kind of turn effects on and off that are like just sort of the easy to access ones like reverb, delay, modulation, distortion, and compression are all right here. So a rip and solo. Uh, what would a rip and solo be? That kind of thing, I guess? You could rip some farts. Okay, well that's kind of terrible. It's kind of awesome though. Like I said, this really scratches an itch. It uh, harkens back to my teenage years when I just wanted to shred and I wanted it to be easy. I don't want to fight my gear. Nowadays, I'm happy if I can just plug straight into anything and make some sounds. Wow, <laughs> it's so detuny and uh, reverby. Big old plate sounds like ah yes, blue scream. They definitely are asking for this kind of vibe. I feel like I can't do John Sykes uh, justice because I play on 11s, and part of that sound are those light strings. You know, doing all that kind of stuff. And the super wide vibrato. Yeah, I can't really do that on these. All right, let's see what's next. If I don't run over my cable and fall on my face. Number four, thunder mug. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, well, it has the word thunder in it. And I think that's about as much as I can do before my non-monetized video gets double D monetized and I have to pay someone. Great. Yeah, it's got that kind of like room verb vibe. Oh, it has no verb on it, but it has some here. Yeah, there's the room verb. That's the kind of ACDC thing. Yeah, you can do that uh, fast Angus Young vibrato, and the reverb kind of really accentuates it. I think these presets were pretty well thought out. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, despite being what they are, you know, it's not like, uh, you know, my king of tone into my two rock or anything, but it's really, you know, getting that teenage me sound going. It's really fun. Next. All right. Star lifter. All right. I hear modulation and copious compression. Let's see what else it's got on deck. Stereo delay. It's nice. No reverb. That's cool. Distortion. Do, 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 do. There's so much compression and sustain. It just makes everything feel so effortless for no reason. Star lifter. Next. No, I do not wish to save changes. Sequence delay. That's cool. This is as good a time as any to mention that uh, it's a totally analog front side, and then the delay and reverb and the modulation, I believe, are the digital aspect of the unit. So, I don't know, the distortion's pretty pleasing for a unit like this. I mean, you know, considering what it's about, which is just making crazy sound. Symphony Steel. Oh, that's just gonna go forever, isn't it? The Ruffy. Fun with delay. Ruffy, eh? Layered echoes. Okay, so we've just got so many repeats that it's like a looper. Okay, crystalline. Ah, oh, I hear this now. This is very Joe Satriani. Very Satriani, I like it. Cool. Next, Straight Cat. I don't know if that thinks it's trying to be a Marshall. 
mean, it didn't feel bad. It's just kind of muffly and weird. I guess I should be used to that. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. There's just nothing. It's just straight cab. Okay. Mad reversal. Whoa. Fun. What mess? Oh good, a question mark and the word mess. I assume it's supposed to be like, is it like a mesa? I guess it's kind of mesa-like. It's extra smooth and all this smoothness that's already present from the compression. Yeah, very Mesa y for, you know, what this is. <laughs> okay, next, 412 rhythm. That's the modulation button I'm turning on and off. I actually kind of like the way this stuff sounds, to be honest with you. Like it's dated, but. If I like the date on the calendar, then how bad can date it possibly be? Just everything shreds on this, it's crazy. Okay, next, new jazz. Once again, assuming that like muddy and dark equals jazz. West Coast Pan. That's cool. All these are so compressed, it's amazing. Clean room. Ah, there we go. Okay, next. Texas rock. Guys, this is giving me nightmare flashbacks to like bar bands on the river walk in San Antonio. That's like the sound of that. We're like, man, I'm nailing that tone. It's like, ugh, ugh. But are you? Big country. that's country at all country time it keeps trying to tell me that it's giving me country and i don't know if i can agree Okay, that's kind of fun. Fine, you win. It's got a vague kind of resemblance to like 90s country stuff. Okay. Well, 
What's this one called? Kinda Country. <laughs> That strat. Okay, anyway, next. I don't want to save changes because it sounded terrible. Dry, right, wet, left. This actually sounds like it might be cool. Very nice and stereo-y. Cool, I like that. Bucks Crunch. That's a neat bucks crunch. So says you. Figure eight. That is a long waveform. Sounds like super slowed down eagles. Dude, please don't sue me. That's cool. Stratton sheets. Well, that's kind of neat. sound very 80s, 90s, which is to be except, expected. It's got a really cool delay effect. Kind of wooly. Metal mash. I kind of like the earlier presets more. I don't know where these are going. Nope. This one is called Meditation. So it just sounds like a great big huge kind of Taj Mahal style thing. Is our Neil Sean lick for the night? Han Solo. This one's actually called Han Solo. And it's awesome. It's like super fat. Here's Flangy. That's the name. That's funny. Very flangy indeed. Weird. Fat funk chords. Wiggly. Now we're kind of in the black hole sun territory.
Pink Zebra. Oh, I guess Pink Zebra is supposed to be like for real butt metal shred. Okay. Crunch rhythm. Plain rhythm. Bathtub solo. Anyway, you kind of get the idea. We'll just keep scrolling through presets and it'll pretty much just be more 80s and 90s sounding stuff forever and ever and ever. Uh, but it's got a pretty distinct uh, sonic characteristic to it. It's really fun to play through. Um, it's maybe not as like bright and lively as I prefer to use. I sort of like my guitars to have like sort of an acoustic quality to them so that the finger picking aspect of my playing can kind of like come through and be rhythmically useful. But man, this would actually be a, it would be really useful as a MIDI controller because it's built like a freaking tank. It is metal and it's awesome. And uh, a great backup if all your rack stuff dies because it actually sounds pretty good. It's passable as a pedal board. And uh, maybe I'll try it through a real amp soon and see if it's any different there. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me tonight and checking out the Digitech RP1 with me. And I uh, hope you're all well. Happy 4th of July to y'all in America and uh, have a good night.